What's happening, my friends? So today I wanna to show you a little in-home workout that you can do for shoulders. So uh, whether your gym is on lockdown or you just happen to be traveling or what have you, don't have access to a gym, you can do this with pretty much anything you have lying around your house or even a hotel room or something like that. I'm gonna show you literally with a sack of potatoes from Costco and a bag of jasmine rice. Uh, but you could use like a grocery bag and put, you know, weight it down with anything, a few books or what have you, or a book bag with a handle, um, anything you have lying around, literally. Um, you can weight it down just based on your strength level and your, uh, you know, fitness level. But um, I'm going to show you again, we're going to go through four quick exercises, um, one for each head of the shoulders, so three for the shoulders and one for the traps. And uh, depending on, you know, kind of how fit you are, how hard you want to work, you can go through the circuit once or you can go through it multiple times. So uh, check it out. I'm going to show you how to do each one. And, you know, again, no matter what's going on, you can always get a good little shoulder pump. So check it out. Let's go. All right. So the first exercise we're going to do are some side lateral raises. Like I said, we're going to use a sack of potatoes. It probably weighs around 10 pounds or so. So whatever you're going to be using, get a handle on it and get a good grip. We're going to just kind of stabilize ourselves, get our balance, so we can do these one arm at a time or two arms at a time. I'm just going to do one arm at a time, but for side lateral raises, really, you're focusing on the, the side part of the deltoid here, so right out here, and you really want to just kind of keep constant tension on that in a nice, smooth range of motion. So up, just slow on the way down, focusing on the side delt. Kind of lifting in an arc. Try to keep the uh, little finger a little bit higher than the thumb, kind of turning out like so as we're going up. So and that kind of helps get a nice flexion on the outer part of the shoulder. So, And you can do uh, as many as you want on either arm and uh, then move on to the next exercise. All right, so we did our side lateral raises for our outer part of the shoulder. The next thing we're going to do is for the front deltoid and some front raises. So again, get a grip on whatever you're going to be using, get your balance. And this one's nice and easy, just bring it straight forward to about eye level, down nice and slow, constant tension on the front part of the shoulder there. So we don't want to let it come all the way down and stop. We want to kind of stop it right about there. So we keep the constant tension, making that muscle work the whole time. Make the muscle work as much as possible. And again, these you can do them one arm at a time, two arms at a time. It right, depends on what you have to work with. All right, and the third exercise we're gonna do are gonna be bent over side lateral raises. So the difference in these and the first one that we did standing straight up is that instead of working the side deltoid, these are gonna work the, and the, the uh, rear deltoid, the back here of the shoulder. So this little muscle back here. So in order to isolate that, what we're gonna do is essentially bend at the waist to about 90 degrees, and we're gonna bring it straight out to the side. You need to stabilize yourself with the hand on the knee like this. You can put your hand on something out here. Um, just depends on what your preference is. I usually just kind of, kind of stabilize with my hand on the knee, but, and kind of focusing on this muscle right back here. And those are for the rear delts. And the last thing we'll do is some, something for the traps. We do some upright rows. I brought out my big bag of basmati rice from Costco. And as you can see, it's got a couple of handles on here. For upright rows, really, the difference in targeting your traps or your, your shoulders are going to be the width of your grip. A nice, narrow grip is going to be more trap-focused. A wider grip is going to be more deltoid-focused. This will be what I actually do for our traps, so we're going to take a nice, narrow grip. So I'm going to keep my grip on the handles kind of pretty close in here, and so we bring it straight up and down. Now, the key to doing upright rows is when I bring it up, I want to make sure I keep my elbows higher than my hands. For any time my hands are coming up here, that's too high. So I want to keep it just like that. And I'm just going to still focus on the trap. So it should kind of feel this kind of right, right through there. And that should wrap it up. So that's a good exercise for traps. Throw that in with the three deltoid exercises and you can get a nice shoulder pump at home.